Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to make a main menu for your Roblox games. I will also leave this main menu as a free model in the description of the video. If you're going to use the model, I just ask that you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is create the UI. So I am just going to insert a new screen GUI and a starter GUI. I'm then going to insert a frame and I'm going to change the size of this frame to 1010 zero, one, zero, to make it take up the entire screen. Or on the Y axis, make it 1.5 just to make sure it envelops the entire screen. Move this up a little bit on our position. Because as you know at the top of the Roblox there is that little bar, so to make sure that's covered as well, you can make it a bit bigger than one. If you don't want that to be covered, you can see that the size is one one. I'm then going to change the color of this to a nice light blue. Then inside of this frame, I'm going to name this frame main. Then inside of this frame, I'm going to insert a text label. Now this text label, I'm going to set the position to 0.25 to bring it onto the screen. I'm now going to set this background transparency to 1, set my text scaled, text color to white. All of this that I'm doing right now, however, is just the appearance, so you can do this part however you want to do it. This is just how I'm doing it. However, you do not have to follow the design exactly, the script will still work. I'm going to make this say the name of my game, so this is for say this is for a simulator game. I'm going to scale this up and center it. Put it slightly above the center on the y-axis. Next, I'm going to insert a new text button. You know, I'm going to insert a new frame. Bring this frame onto the screen again. gonna make this the size that I want the play button to be put it where I want the play button to go and I'm gonna change the color of this to a light green I'm gonna duplicate it and make the new one a slightly darker green and put it inside of the other frame or no. you're gonna want to make sure the one on top is a lighter gray and the one that appears underneath is a darker gray then scale the lighter gray one, lighter green one, sorry, down slightly to give it a shadow effect. Also make sure you set the border size pixel to zero on both these. As you can see that now has a nice shadow effect on the button. Now inside of here we're going to insert a text button, scale it, background transparency one, text scaled, cartoon font, text color to white, I'm going to change the text to play. I'm going to rename the frame of the button to button frame just so we can access it easier from our script. And there we go. So one last thing you can do if you have the plugin is roundify your frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my button frame, I'm going to go to my UI design and click roundify. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one, roundify. I believe this is a free plugin that I like to use just because it's easier, I like the way it looks, it makes everything look nicer. Nice round buttons. Then I'm going to make our text button, raise this index. There we go. So, if you don't want to, if you want exactly what I have here, just go download the free model. The link to that is in the description. If you I found that complicated, or if you don't want to design your own, you can just use this one. Next, we're going to move on to the script. I'm going to put. Um, 
but we can get to. I'm gonna put this screen GUI into replicate storage. I'm then going to create a new local script and start a GUI and say no. Sorry about that. I'm doing this without a script or anything. I'm just going off the top of my head how to do this. Let's open a new script and server script service. And type game.players.player added. Cool. And connect function player. Game.replicate world. Local UI clone equals game.replicate storage dot screen GUI colon clone. We're gonna rename this to main menu actually. Next we're gonna say UI clone dot pair equals player dot player GUI. And there we go. So next we need to make it so that when you click the button, the UI goes away. Let's put a local script and say script.parent.main.buttonframe.textButton.mouseButton click colon connect function script.parent colon destroy. So now if I test this it should hopefully work. Let's see if this is, as you can see, our UI appears on screen. When we click the play button, it disappears. So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and found this helpful. If you followed along and were able to do it, that is great. If you weren't, the link to this as a free model will be in the description below. However, if you used the free model, I want to just ask that you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.